holding on a cigarette He's in disguise deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. We're doing a DIY Helpful Hints video today. I'm going to introduce you to a process that can help you best do your DIY stuff by pre-blending some of the things together so that it's ready when you're ready to add your flavoring uh, and make your e-juice. What I'm talking about is, and I'll show you, um, I have a 250 mil bottle, okay? I have my propylene glycol and my vegetable glycerin. Yes, you can see I buy in bulk, and I've got a, a one gallon jug also in storage. Um, we've also got sweetener, all right? And we have nicotine. So, some of the labware that I have is a funnel. I also have some beakers to help measure. And, of course, I also have a syringe also. I use multiple different tools because I, like, I don't like to cross-contaminate my... Uh, different chemicals. I don't want some flavoring slipping into my nicotine nor sweetener. So I want to carefully measure each and everything out. Alright? What we're going to do is we're going to put down some paper towel so that when we're through using one of these pieces of labware we can put it right down on the towel and keep everything separate. Also, by the way, You'll see that I'm wearing, let me get over here where I can see you. I'm wearing blue gloves. That's so that I don't cross-contaminate items. Uh, but more importantly, when you're using nicotine, in low doses, you know, it has some helpful qualities. But it's also something that can be dangerously, uh, you know, it can, it can get you pretty sick, if not creaking over the, you know, going on to the next world <laughs> all right station pause for identification I'm using my elastomo you always want to keep your vape near you you'll want to do that my 200 watt all right so here's what we're going to do um, I know my blend really well by the way if you don't know how to measure and figure the quantity of every item, Google in e-juice me up ca uh, calculator. I'll put the link down below. It's free. And you just pop in your variables like me. I, I know exactly how I like my chemicals. So to pull this conversation together, I pretty much, my preference is 3 milligrams of nicotine by volume. So... I have a calculator that's going to tell me exactly what that is. Let me pull up my calculator here. And so I'm making a 250 ml bottle, okay? And we're going to use nicotine, so that's going to want 7.5 ml of nicotine in order to achieve my 3 milligram nicotine by volume. Uh, the same thing with the sweetener. I put mine at about 1% of the total milliliters that we want to use. So in this case, the 1% will come out to about 2.5 mil on the sweetener. Likewise, and I'll show you a tip for this, I, I usually do like a 60-40 or a 50-50 of my VG to PG, I'm sorry, VG to PG. Uh, so that's a good safe number for me that I like. Um, so we're going to pre-blend everything right into here. No flavoring yet. We're just going to pre-blend everything and put it right in here. And that way when we go to make our recipes, all you need to know is how much flavoring you need 
uh, in your tincture and then you'll be able to just put this in there and just fill it up. This also helps to pre-steep some of, you know, your, your VG, PG and uh, your nicotine and your sweetener. Everything will already kind of be pre-steeped uh, in here and it just makes things much quicker. You put your flavoring in, boom, you fill it up, you've got everything done. Uh, and it helps you to speed up the process. So I hope that uh, that makes sense to what I'm saying. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this bottle for you in what we're talking about, okay? Because pretty much I go with the same number everywhere I go. Um, I don't ever max PG, but I can max VG. But normally I'll do, like I said, a 60-40 VG to PG or a 50-50 or a 70-30, somewhere in there. For this particular video, I will be doing 50-50. All right, so let's build it and then we'll cap off our conversation. I'm going to take off the squeeze lid. I like the squeeze lids because you can just, I'm sorry, the twist tip lids because then you can just roll that down my gloves on here making me slip but this way you can just pour right into a bottle and then you seal it up and you don't have to use uh, tinctures and everything it's already pre-done so let's but let's build this bottle because I want you to learn by example uh, and by the way again in order to do this you have to have a little bit of experience in understanding the numbers that work for you. Everybody's different. All vapors are, are different. It, the common thing is we love to vape, but everybody's got personal preferences. I just happen to know what my personal preferences are for about 80% of what I do, so I pre-build this. All right, let's get rocking and rolling, okay? Um, now, when you're doing, let me put everything back over here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Let me pull the uh, uh, e-juice e calculator down so you guys can see. All right, here we go. We're going to do the nicotine first. You need to understand that nicotine, uh, you know, it, like I said, it can have some positive effects uh, in small doses. That is medically proven, but uh, that also has to do with not having the carcinogens and all that stuff that are in cigarettes. Uh we're talking food grade, pure grade nicotine, even though you're not going to swallow it like that. Uh, and you want to be careful not to overdo it, and that's why I'm wearing gloves. But the point that I'm trying to make on this is nicotine is very thick. So you're not going to want to use the syringe needle. I use mine without that because it's very thick. Pause for station identification. Nice. All right. For my recipe, we need 7.5 ml of nicotine. That'll give us the 3% nicotine by volume. All right. So you can see I've got a 10 mil syringe there, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull it in there. And it's okay if you accidentally get a little too much because you can squeeze it off and put some of it back. In my case, I'm going to hold this up, but you can see I'm right there at the 7.5. All right. What we're going to do is just go ahead that and get that into the bottle. Boom. Done. All right. Now, that's getting set aside because, again, I don't want to cross-contaminate. We're using this only for the nicotine. It's done. Right. So now... I'm going to put that back over there. Um, the next thing that we need to know is let's get to the sweetener. The sweetener is 1%, and so 1% of a 250 ml bottle, we're at about 2.5. So 2.5 is what we need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these small beakers. All right. And I also have a squeeze or I'm sorry, the um, twist lids on here. So now I can come right into the beaker. You can watch me do it. Boom. There's two. 
I went a little over, but that's okay because I tend to be a little bit of a sweet tooth. But uh, I don't think you can hardly, there you go. You can see it from there. I went over by about uh, a, about a half. I ended up at 3 instead of 2.5. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take it right here. We'll do it over here so you can see it. And we're just going to go ahead and put that in. I'm going to let it drip down for a second. All right. Now that's done. We put that aside. The rest of what we're going to need is simply PG and VG. Okay. For this, I'm going to go ahead and use the funnel and put it right in there. And we're just going to directly pour. Uh, for my case, you know, I, I just eyeball it because I've been doing it so long. But you might want to get a utensil that can measure. Uh, like if you have a bigger beaker or something like that, that'll work. Um, I have a glass Pyrex one over here that could work. Uh, but I know about where the halfway mark is. And so that's where I'm going to go with it. Again, the funnel, uh, that reduces, see how it, it, it goes quicker? Um, in some cases, I just go ahead and put a little bit less of the PG. Um, because I particularly, again, I like to err on the side of caution. I like uh, VG much more. Um, but, you'll see we're right there at the halfway mark. Can you see that right there? Right at the halfway mark. All right. Now I'm going to leave that. I'm going to cap that off. I tend to be somebody who spills a lot. So there's my PG. All right. We're going to go ahead and put that away. We don't need that anymore right now. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and finish it off with, and I just take the lid off because the uh, VG is so much thicker. All right. We're just going to pour directly in here. You can see it's pouring a lot slower than, I'm going to stop it right there and let it finish draining out. You can see it's draining a lot slower than the VG, um, I'm sorry, than the PG. Uh, you know, if, if you like the hit, lung hit and you're just finishing smoking, whatever, you might want to go the direction of PG. If you like deep clouds and deep flavor, VG is the way to go. So that's why you... For me particularly, I like the whole shebang. I like the whole fireworks night of it. So that's why I go a little bit with the, I, I incorporate the PG with my VG simply because that way I can get, and I want to footnote that I smoked for over 20 years. I've now been almost six years uh, tobacco free, but I still like my little bit of nicotine and I do it this way. Uh, because it is so refined, it's not there with all the carbon junk and the toxic things that come out of, uh, you know, tobacco usage. Um, so I like a little, a little of each. And, and again, I just need a little bit of nicotine for myself. I don't, uh, I don't go very heavy at all. Um, you know, and at night, I don't, I have another tank that I don't have any, nicotine in uh, but I had several surgeries right and so I've got scars way up here and so a lot of my weight tends to be in my front section having said that nicotine helps me to suppress the um, the food issues um, and that's why I keep it very very low it helps to suppress some of that for me the scarring does not allow me to heal properly and, and that surgery also was about six years ago so there, that's my reasoning for a little bit of nicotine, but I like this delivery system much better than tobacco. All right, here we go. Okay, I got that thing pretty filled up right there. All right, I just put the funnel back in there. Now, if you want to look, we've got a whole bottle. You see that there? This bottle, you can, you can kind of see right there. See? Now, this has got 3% nicotine by volume. I didn't use this one. I'm going to put that back. 
All right, the funnel, I'm gonna put that back over here on the towel because we're gonna wash that. I'm gonna go ahead and cap this off. Notice no spillage or anything like that. You, did you notice? And I'm not hurting anything because I got my gloves on and I use this surface. That way I can go back with hot water and some soap. This was uh, when I went to culinary school. This was one of my cutting boards that I, I used. And uh, I got a, a nice little towel in there so it doesn't move. But it's a very sterile, good uh, work table right there on, on, on the bigger table. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to take my gloves off now. These gloves can go in the trash. By the way, I, I think you can see it right here. I use nitrile gloves. And um, you just dispose of these right here. I use the nitrile gloves uh, partially because, you know, when I went through culinary school, that's what we used. They fit on my hand all right. Uh, all right, we had no spillage here. Again, the twist top is closed, and we're just going to go ahead and shake it up in a little bit here. I'm going to introduce it into a warm water bath. That will help for everything to expand a little bit, and it will help some of the bonding from the chemicals to get together a little bit better. And you'll find that uh, going that route when you're steeping will give you a better flavor and a better product. But here's the thing. Again, if you understand what I was saying, here's a 250 ml bottle. We've got 5050 VG and 5050 PG, and I like to label everything. I don't have my my Sharpie up here, otherwise I'd do it. And I'll I'll Sharpie it here in a minute. But you've got 250 ml 5050 VG PG. You've got your sweetener in there and your nicotine. Now, when you're ready, to let's just use this as an example when you're ready and all you have to do now is figure out your percentage of flavoring then once you've done all that you simply just top it off right there with your VGPG you're done uh, you know and that again comes with knowing your product uh, how you, knowing your numbers and how you like to taste the, the norm of where you want to be. Uh, sometimes, if there's any changes for me, it generally is going to be in the flavoring. So if something's a little bit more mellow, I might go with 15% uh, rather than 10%. Um, but again, that's all you need to do, and then you just top it off with your BGPG, you're done. You just go ahead and let this steep for about another three days, give it a warm water bath. And because we've already done this, Instead of seven days or a week, you can go ahead and with a warm water bath in three days and come back to this and your product will be lovely, nice, and ready to go. Um, anyway, so I'm going to start doing some more of these videos uh, to give you some help if you would like to uh, go down the route of DIY. Uh, I'll tell you this much. Yes, up front it costs a little bit more buying in bulk and stuff like that, but I reduce the cost of the product, and I know a lot of different recipes, so there's no, you know, I'm, I'm disabled, so I, I don't have, uh, you know, a working man's uh, income. I, I'm disabled with disability, uh, <laughs> you know, income, which is not much, so saving everything that I can dollar-wise helps, and this is one of the things. You'll find that instead of paying for 5 to $19 for something, I make my own stuff, and it cost me under a buck for a 30 mil tincture. And finding the ways to do this and incorporate this kind of stuff really is going to help you out. You're going to get much more exacting. Uh, you're going to get consistency. And uh, bottom line is you're going to pay less. If you have any questions, please, my Twitter is there. My email is there. Uh, feel free to message me and uh ask any questions that you need. If you have something that you would like me to review for me or if you want a recipe for something, please like, subscribe, send me a message um, and I'll be happy 100% to, to help you out. And by the way, if you don't mind while you're here, please like and subscribe. When, once I get to a thousand people here on my YouTube, I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm going to make it a good giveaway. So please help me out. 
share my information with everybody, get them to like YouTube, my YouTube channel, and uh, thank you again for stopping by. I will make sure to keep up with uh, maybe once a week doing some of the more tips that will help you out. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to make things too complicated. I'm going to make it so that everybody can learn from it. I'm not the brightest guy. I just learned how to simplify things. And I'm going to share that with you guys. So anyway, thank you very much for coming to the Juicy Vapor channel. Like, subscribe, and send your friends over too. Now we're going to get out of here in the normal Juicy Vapor style. And uh, we're going to get on out of here. How about that? Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.